So now when we start talking about arrows, there's all different types of arrows that are out there and there's different fletchings. The fletchings are the parts up top here. These here are classified as veins. These here are actually true feathers. Now, your feathers are what you're going to want to shoot while you're shooting a recurve because it is going to ride on the shelf and that is going to flatten down as it as you shoot it where a vein is going to ride up. You'll notice that there's one that's orange and the other two are blue or you've got one that's white and the other two are an offset different color. So this is your cock feather these are your hand feathers. So when we're shooting the drop away rest, you always want your cock vein straight up so that if it was down like this or any of the other veins were down like this as it's leaving the bow, it could hit the rest and affect your shot. But by putting them sideways like this here and your cock vein straight up, you're not going to have the contact with your rest. There's all different types of sizes of arrows. There's four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter skinny arrows. It's not as though that it makes them stronger or heavier or lighter. The arrow is determined by its spine and how much flex that it has. So this is going to the spine of the arrow is going to determine on how many pounds and your draw length. The higher poundage, the longer your draw length, the stiffer spine arrow that you have to have when you're shooting. And then we go into a arrow here that you can see is how much, so much thicker than this one. This one here is what we shoot at target archery. What we shoot in Vegas. Because all you've got to do is touch the line and you get the bigger, the higher score. So the fatter the arrow, the more line cutter does its job. This here is a hunting arrow, even though it's this skinny. And then there's other arrows that are a little bit bigger than these that are that you can use for hunting for 3D. Uh, we prefer these to shoot these indoor. Your indoor shooting, going to outdoor with crosswinds and that, this bigger arrow is going to catch more wind. We're inside, it's a controlled environment, we don't have to worry about that as much. So your thinner arrow for shooting outdoors and hunting is more desirable. So there's many varieties of sights that you can purchase. Every sight has got fiber optic pins and it actually has a level down here so you can see if you're tipping the bow sideways to one way or another. And there are adjustments on this to make sure that your bow is level even before you start shooting. So that's the nice thing with all the sights is that they have a bubble. Most of them do have the adjustment for the level. This one here is what's called a slider. It has this knob right here, and with that knob, you can turn this, and by turning it, it makes your aperture, this is your aperture, it makes that go up and down so that your bottom pin can be used for different distances. Thanks for watching another episode of Wreck Yourself. I'm your host, James Gould. I'm professor of tourism management at the University of Northern Colorado. I hope we've inspired you to explore 
And of course, feel free to check out the links below for specific information on recreation resources, our guests, and our partners. Also, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Until we see you next time, be sure to wreck yourself.